Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. It will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento guys uh, with a 2.4 GDI engine you need to remove or replace throttle body stay with us. We'll explain what to do guys. If you do one simple mistake, you can actually overheat your engine to the point okay, that you may need new engine or the engine rebuild. So make sure to stand to the end and we'll explain what we're talking about. So this should work on Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento different years. For instance, they started using it in early 2012 all the way to 2016, 17, depending on the market, guys. And that's a 2.4 GDI engine. So before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the garage, guys, we take them completely apart and we make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. Also, guys, if you want to buy parts or tools for a really good price and quick shipping as well, check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Specifically, this is an engine out of a 2013 Kia that we'll be demonstrating on and with that being said okay uh, if you have uh, a Kia guys or other vehicle check our main channel auto repair guys we have videos that have helped more than 120 million people guys that can save you thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so we have guys the engine out and we can clearly show you what we're talking about now before we start guys okay before we start let me explain now okay we have the cooling system radiators everything installed and the throttle body actually is uh, 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 there is coolant running through the throttle body so we cannot just remove and replace it okay without draining the cooling system so you need to drain your cooling system we have a complete video that explains how to do that but the drain pocket is right here make sure the car is completely cold before you start draining it always slowly very slowly far away Okay, open the thing only on an absolutely cold engine, guys, let it sit overnight, then drain the coolant, then continue. So, uh, what uh, what to do next? We have ours already drained. This is, guys, okay, your throttle body right here. In order to remove it, okay, Kia Sorento and Sportage use different intake uh, intake hoses, but if you, uh, if you look at it now, okay, right here, you will need to disconnect that hose, guys. Okay, you have a few vacuum lines. There is one clamp that you can remove, okay, and just pull it like that. You have a hose clamp here with a 10 millimeter, okay, that you need to pull loosen. The same one you're going to actually have for the air filter box that we already removed, okay, so uh, you will need to remove it out of your air filter box, wiggle it, okay, and you can easily pull it out, pull the other hose, and you can put this one on the side. Now, if you look at this thing, that's your throttle body. Now, how do you guys remove and replace that thing? So, pretty simple guys, 10 millimeter socket, you grab the socket, okay, you're, we're going to lift that hose up and you're going to remove four screws. Careful when you install them because they uh, screw into a plastic intake manifold and you can easily strip those and you need to install new intake manifold. Every time you remove the throttle body, you need to replace the throttle body gasket. We'll put links in the description of the video below where you can get all that form. So please check it out. Okay, now we're ready to grab that throttle body. Pull it to the side. Okay, right here. That's the wire that we need to disconnect. So squish both ends. Okay, and we go it out. Now we have two coolant hoses here, guys. Two coolant hoses that we need to disconnect, okay? And you will always leak coolant, even though you drain your coolant, you will always leak some coolant out. So, hose clamp is coming out. Perfect, one hose is out. Second one now. Okay, and this one is coming out as well. That's hose number two. Now, when you replace that thing, guys, there is one thing that you need to do. So we're going to talk about that as we go. We, not too long ago, cleaned half of the throttle body. Check out the difference. If you have a dirty throttle body like that, okay, we left half of it. Okay, and the other one is clean. You can see it can affect your car to where, okay, it doesn't idle right, it stalls, it's revving up, or it's not having enough power, having engine light on as well. The gasket is right here. You need to replace it every time you remove the throttle body because they're usually flattened. When you replace it, you need to add coolant, guys. Most people will stop here, and that's a big mistake. 
Actually, what you need to do, you need to bleed the cooling system on these Kia Sportage, Kia Sorento vehicles, modern vehicles. If you don't bleed the cooling system, you have a complicated cooling system that can uh, actually hold air bubbles inside, develop an air pocket, and it will prevent coolant from flowing freely. And as a result, you can severely overheat your engine to the point that you may need new engine. So, always, guys, bleed the cooling system. Complete video will be coming on our channel very soon. Hopefully, the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.